Okay, let's turn this sucker on and deuce. <laughs> this is great. What's going on everybody, Dragast here, and welcome back to another episode of the Best Besiege Creations. So, we're obviously starting off very large this week. This is an Imperial Japanese Navy Shiratsu class destroyer, and it's actually got torpedo missiles on it, and that's what I'm so excited about. If you look at these two turrets here, this is where the torpedoes come out from. It's also got some turrets on the front and back, so I thought it would be fun. Now that my mods are back, let's slow down this thing, because you're not supposed to shoot it while it's moving, but I thought it would be fun to actually shoot another ship. So we are going very, very large right now. This is just... Don't worry about this ship. I'll probably do something on this one later, but uh, this is just for target practice right now. All right, so let's do some destruction right now, shall we? Unfortunately, I have to run this at a snail's pace. Obviously, I got two very large creations on one map. Uh, Besiege really isn't supposed to be this complex. So I'm slowly turning my turret over there, and we're going to see if we can hit it with this thing. All right, that looks aimed up. I'm not really sure how powerful these cannons are, so let's just go for it. I shot the back ones by accident as well, but that's totally fine. You know what, let's follow one of these cannonballs. This might actually be a good hit. I think it's going to hit the ground first, but we might do a little bit of damage with these things. You know what, let's go and connect to this thing and we'll watch them coming in. All right, so yeah, they're definitely going to roll in. I don't think they're going to do any damage at all, unfortunately. It's a little too far away for those turrets, but we, you can't really tell how fast it's going because I think we're at... Yeah, we're at 10% right now, so these are going 10 times the speed at what they seem. So we might be able to do a little bit of damage here. Eh, <laughs> that, that's not going to hurt anything. All right, but the real dangers with this design is the torpedo launchers, and this is what I'm most excited about. So it looks like we have four torpedoes on this one and four on the back one as well. Uh, let's make sure these things are aimed up and ready to go here. All right, torpedoes seem to be ready. Let's slowly let these things go. I'm going to do one at a time here. I think there's a total of eight different buttons. Yeah, you do. Uh, these four first and then the back four. So we're just going to go very slowly here because I don't want anything to explode on the ground. But as you can see, they are making their way over there. That is so cool. Like, it's not normal to see torpedoes going across the ground as if it was just water. It looks really freaking cool. Okay, so all eight are gone now. So let's go... Actually, you know what? This is going to explode and reset our camera, so I'm just going to slowly follow these guys over, and we'll see if we can hit them. It looks like we're going to get a direct hit with a lot of them. All right, here comes the torpedoes. I think this one's just going to miss the end, unfortunately. Look at how close this is going to be. It might actually hit just the tip here. No, it's going to go right through it, unfortunately, but this one, this is going to be a direct hit. Oh my god, I love this. Okay, I can't wait for the rest of them to hit, so there's another one. Looks like a lot of the back ones are ready to hit it as well, so looks like we only missed like one or two of the um, torpedoes, but all four of these are going to hit right now, and this ship is going down, man. Oh my god. Yes, look at that. It's just one after another, and all this ship is now is explosions. I mean, this whole thing is on fire, and this is what Besiege is all about. We're starting off strong with this one, ladies and gentlemen. My god, that's a big creation. I can't believe all it took was about six torpedoes to literally obliterate this thing, and it is made out of wood, so obviously the whole thing has caught on fire here. All right, well, most of the fire is out now, and as you can see, I don't know how this thing's floating. It must be pinned into place. Yes, it is, as you can see in the top, so that's why those are floating. But as you can see, for the rest of the ship, it, <laughs> it's not doing very well. It's just a big pile of rubble now. And, of course, this ship over here is doing just fine. So, aside from that, there's not much else with this one. I think we're getting, yeah, we're getting really close to the rocks here. So, let's just crash this one into the rocks, and then we'll call it a day. But that was a really impressive torpedo missile system. I really like that. You haven't really seen torpedoes in Besiege yet. And look at that. I just love how realistic it looks. I would imagine that's what would happen if a ship hit a rock. Not too much damage, but enough damage to clearly ruin your day. Bow and arrow? More like bow and plane. So this is a transforming arrow that actually transforms into a plane once it's done. So uh, the developer says this one is very finicky and sometimes breaks, so bear with it. But uh, we're going to try it out here. So first of all, let's pull back this bow and uh, get this plane. Oh, shit. Okay, well, speak of the devil. It is very finicky. 
All right, so let's reset this. The developer says wait five seconds for the arrow to stop wobbling back and forth because you're going to break it if you do pull it back. And obviously, we can't pull it all the way back because it does like to break. Okay, that's about as far as... Okay, I think it just actually broke. Shit. Now, you can run this in invincibility as well. I just want to try it without invincibility because, well, obviously, that's a little bit more fun. So, we're not going to pull it as far back this time. I don't think the arrow is really going to shoot out that far, but uh, we're going to try it from here. So, first of all, we have to... Well, first of all, let's connect to the... I'm assuming this is the plane part. So, we're going to release the arrow, and then it's going to transform into a plane. And then we're supposed to be able to fly it around. So, here we go. Releasing arrow, and yes, as I expected, it did fall down a little bit, and... There's the plane! I don't even know what the fuck just happened, but you know what? This is definitely a plane, and it is definitely working. So I don't think I've ever seen that before, a bow and arrow that transforms into a damn plane. <laughs> that is so awesome. All right, let's try it with invincibility and see if we can actually shoot it like an arrow and go at a decent distance. All right, so now we shouldn't need to worry about how far we pull this thing back. We may as well go all the way to the back here, and this... I hope won't break. Sometimes, you know, invincibility does break as well. All right, that bow is just going crazy. All right, well, let's try this again. We're going to shoot the arrow. It still doesn't go very far, but it's still, I mean, obviously, it's kind of impressive. It turns into a freaking plane. And this plane is actually very easy to fly. It's uh, very fun. It's obviously very light, so it, you shouldn't really have too much of a problem doing much of anything with it. Like, look at that! I picked up a tree! <laughs> oh my god. Now, it doesn't have an engine, so it's kind of like a glider, more or less. All right, it's also got this view, which is pretty damn cool. So, I'm pulling back the bow. That looks like it's all the way back, so let's release it. And get ready. Here we go. Oh, hurry up, please. Please hurry up. Thank you. That's so cool. I love how it just turns into a plane. I don't even understand why is it why is it exploding and whatnot, but it does work very freaking well. So yeah, that was the bow and plane. Not to be confused with a bow and arrow. Really cool design here and very fun to fly. All right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the trash thrower. <laughs> This thing's got literally everything inside of here that it just shoots out. Now, I'm really curious, though, can we possibly put humans in there and use them as projectiles? Because that's always fun for me. So, yes, obviously, this thing's pretty damn cool. Uh, can get around really quickly, and it can pretty much shoot anything. So, let's just turn this thing on and uh, watch it shoot. <laughs> it just goes everywhere. It's just like a shotgun. Roadhog would be proud of this one. All right, I think my trash is getting kind of stuck in here. So, there we go. Now we opened it up, and <laughs> it's really going out. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, I want to go back. All right, do we got anything else left in here? Holy shit, it just doesn't stop. You know what? We're just going to uh, we're just gonna go somewhere else and lay down the law over there. So, peasant village, why the hell not? Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. This has got to be the vehicle with the most weaponry on it, and it's just trash. <laughs> okay, I think, yeah, my, um... My fire went out, so it's not going as far now. It's kind of just shooting out, but I think you can reignite that. Not that it really matters anymore, since we are pretty much empty here. God, this thing looks badass, though. This is what I'm talking about, and it's also really freaking fast, as you can see. I wonder if I can use the water cannons as damage as well. <laughs> he fell over. I think I killed him. That's great. All right, now to do a more important test. Can we just put random things in here and shoot them? So I'm just going to go around collecting everything I find on the map and see if we can shoot that as well. I'm assuming you can, but it's always fun to try. Oh my god, my fucking ammo is attacking me from the inside. Look at this. These guys are getting way too rowdy over here. Relax. Everything's going to be totally fine. You're going to be used as a projectile. It's going to be great. Whoops, sorry, dude. Okay, they're actually... I, I should probably kill most of them. I made most of them fall down. I don't know if they're actually dead. No, no, they actually get up. So uh, even the old characters fall down now, which is really cool. But they're actually... I'm worried they're going to break my thing because they're getting very rowdy, as you can see. <laughs> Thankfully, it's mostly metal, so we should be fine. Oh, this one is not going to fit through the entrance, I don't think. But we're going to throw it in there anyways. <laughs> Alright, let's go get some gravestones. That's always acceptable. Oh, that's too bad. You can't pick up the gravestones. Wait, you know what? Oh, wait. No fucking way. I don't think this is going to work. But we can try. That's the great thing about Besiege. You can always try. Okay, it's not even going to fucking fit in here. What if we go with the heavy end inside? Okay, come on, just get in there. Oh, fuck it. It's too big, guys. I, I really wanted to shoot that. But I think it would break everything else that's inside here. 
Oh, this is not gonna go well either. We got a big ass ball in the back. You know what? We're gonna throw that in there. I think I think we definitely got enough now. I mean, you can't even see the humans in there, but we got some trees, some humans, some logs, a big ass boulder that I think is gonna break everything. And I yeah, I think we're pretty good. So the question is, what can we shoot at anymore? I pretty much demolished everything. I guess we can go for the middle tower here and hope for the best. So First of all, we're going to slow this really down because I want to see what makes it out and what doesn't. So we're going to go to about 10% here and let's turn this sucker on. Here we go. It's going to open the door. Everybody's going to be happy. There, <laughs> there goes a human. Oh my god. Okay, there goes some more humans. Oh, this is great. Please hit that tree and break it. Oh my god. Is there, is there, we're, I think we're having problems here. They're getting kind of stuck. But some more humans are coming out. It seems like all the humans seem to be able to get out and everything else is not working. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're definitely having some problems here. So let's speed this thing up and try again here. Maybe if we can move this around a bit, get it all sorted. There goes some trees at least. Uh, but yeah, I think these things are too big. Maybe this could fit if I can help it. No, it's not It's not going through. I'm trying to even pull it through. Hold on. Let, let, let's do this. I'm going to pull it from the bottom and come on. Come on. Get through there. Get through. I'm pulling so hard right now and it's not working. All right, let's go way back and pull from the bottom. There we go. There we go. Oh, it worked. I ripped off most of my freaking creation, but it worked. And there goes the big ass thing as well. So you just need to get rid of that top part. There we go. Look at that. All right, we got one more experiment here. As you can see in the back hopper, I put pretty much everyone in the Duke's plea inside. I just left the guys on the towers there because why the hell not? Uh, I just want to see if we can take down the tower with the humans on the damn map. So it should be fun. There's still a couple alive in there, which is good. We're going to slow this down again and <laughs> do some serious destruction, hopefully. Okay, let's turn this sucker on and do... <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I, I hope we take it down with humans. Yes, we did. Oh my god. Where'd that saw come from? I just saw a saw get shot out as well. I must have missed that one. But yes, mostly humans were able to take this thing down. I think there's one final human. Nope, he just left out. And uh, yeah, safe to assume that castle got fucked up just by humans. <laughs> that was great. All right, guys, well, that was the trash thrower. I'm pleasantly surprised that you can actually use this and uh, do some decent damage with it. Really fun creation to use. All right, guys, well, we're going to end this one here. This was, once again, another episode of the best besieged creations, but I thought I would quickly show you this because it's kind of interesting. German engineering with Japanese culture. We got Miku and a Kettenkrod. So yeah, this thing's like a tank trike-like thing. It's pretty damn interesting, but what I like most about it is little Miku driving it. You can see even her little body there. <laughs> it's actually standing up, holding, and steering the thing. But yeah, guys, as always, I just want to say thank you for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one. Yeah!